Hey there everyone, we're here with game number one for the Alpha Build, starring Avacyn, Guardian Angel, right over here. And we are going first, we're going to have a pretty good hand, so we're going to keep this. Just going to make sure we actually do some stuff and actually end up wasting some time making sure that everything's set up. Chat, still not in a intuitive manner. Today we're up against some... I'm not going to lie, I'm expecting some pretty dirty decks here. We're up against Narset, Enlightened Master... Xenagod, God of Revels, and Yoira of the Gitu. Well, we've already said our good luck, have funs. <sighs> okay. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to this game. Not at all. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, with Narset, it, it really could be anything. Narset has a bad rep, but I've seen some Fine Narset decks. I have a Nar I had a Narset deck. I like liked it. I'm gonna rebuild it. It's nothing against Nar Narset players, but this is also Moto, so you kind of have to expect the worst in this environment. Unfortunately, Zenigod is sometimes you could just get one shot if they have like the Atar an Atarka or something like that or anything with Infect. You know, it's, it's, it's whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and play our land, tap it, F8, after we F6. Joyra, though, there's no excuse for Joyra. I have never seen a, a Joyra deck that wasn't, you know, exile all the Eldrazi and then obliteration or anything else like that. I've never seen a Joyra deck that wasn't that. So, yeah, we're gonna have to pick our poison here and did. Oh boy, Narset looks like she had to go down something fierce. And she's let off with a soul rain. So even better. Ah, let's go ahead and play our planes. So we can go ahead and play our sacred guide this turn. Don't think I actually want to. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disenchant that soul rain. So that's going to slow Joyra down considerably that was just yeek you can't let Joyra have a soul ring although letting Xenagod have an Imperial recruiter isn't that much better and if you search your library for a creature card power two or less reveal it put it into your hand then shuffle your library what do you end up grabbing so I'm saying I can okay that's fine although let's see yep and oh uh, Narset's, Narset's done. Alright, so it's just going to be us three. That's fine, actually. Um, let's see, I'm tempted to play the Sacred Guide and just play it out. Because he needs Xenagod out in order for that to work. Um, scroll rack. You know what? If we wait one more turn, we can use the Winding Canyons. So I'm going to pass here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, no. I'll play Registrar now. <clears throat> Save myself a little bit of tempo. There we go. Alright, so we're a little bit better set up. Next turn, we'll drop the Winding Canyons. Still tabbed on upkeep from last week. So there's Solemn, Mr. Sadbot, and I'm actually not planning on doing anything now that, well, it's just a Sadbot, and we're not going to pay two life to negate one damage. And there's really no reason to, let's see, yep, Imperial Recruit is rightfully going at the, at the Joyra. See if that makes a difference. Yeah, okay. The chat kept, keeps disappearing. So hopefully this way we can go ahead and actually, you know, click over to it. Let's see, there's Royal Carry Tower. So now no hand size is a th thing for her. Alright, we have our Winding Canyon down. We can go ahead and pass turn. So the Winding Canyon is going to let us cast our any of our creatures or anything else at instant speed. So we can just go ahead and leave up all the mana now. 
Let's see, don't have to play the scroll rack just yet, and don't actually want to until we see a land tax. Yep, and of course Joyra counters Xenogod, like you do. This does mean that we are going to use Whiny Canyons to play out a Sikion at the end of Xenogod's turn. And again, rightfully so, Xenogod is swinging for Joyra. Oh, swing up. Swing the Imperial Recruiter at me. That is not bueno. But we're not going to pay mana to right or Righteous Aura. But I am... Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait till the end of Joyra's turn. If she wants to use a Counterspell on Sacred Guy, that is fine. Don't think she will. There's her mountain. And there's Oira. So let's go ahead and. Our first winding canyons. All right, so sacred guys, six Delaney, and so does Joyra. Now it's our turn, and well, you have to make land drops. I don't think we want to play artifacts, but we can just pass turn now. And like I said, we're gonna just wait until we need to pop the sacred guide, which will probably be. But I wanted to use it as a blocker too. Let's see, we're going to have land for a few turns though. Probably just going to have to pop the Sacred Guide. Alright, Zenny got six to land in this time. And he's just going to F6 it. So, Zenny God. This is one I'm not. This is a trigger I don't want to automatically pass priority on. Just the Imperial Recruiter. So offering a trade for some reason. All right then. What's Joy we got for us? What are we going to be in for? Because remember, she's only suspended with four time counters, so that automatically puts a clock on us. Although, if I had been smart, I would have Sacred Guided first in an attempt to get an answer. Whoops. Hard casting the Talarian West. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to sacrifice the Sacred Guide. Gets us a Seraph and we lose a Mana Crypt. Alright. It's not bad. That's a couple of dead draws, actually. Retribution of the Meek. We can go ahead and hold that. Just play another land. We definitely want to be building mana as opposed to taking the Cantrip on the Outpost. So, with that being said, I think we just have to pass turn. We do have enough mana to instant speed the Retribution of the Meek, though. It's really what I care about most. So what I may end up doing... See, the next time a Sorcery Choice would deal damage to you, prevent that damage. Eh, I could stop if you were... if you had damage on you, too. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything going on in chat real quick. Nope. Nothing since Nara said accidentally scooped. I'm going to say accidentally scooped because she might have couldn't get it. Or she couldn't have just had no lands. And Ulrich of the Crate! So this is our first instance of seeing the brand new Werewolf Commander. So when he enters the play, target creature gets 4-4 four, four until the end of turn. 
Interesting. And then he's going to transform into a werewolf if no one casts a spell. So he can give himself 4-4. Four, four, and then Zenith God's going to ma make him even double that. It's pretty spicy, actually. And then Scarg, the Rage Pits, can give him plus one, plus one, and trample. All right. Deserted Temple, untapped target land. Interesting. Looks like it's from Odyssey. That's a card that's going to have to be on our watch list, because Nykthos does come out way later. Although we could also use this with Scorch Rune, so that's not bad. Just as is. Alright, so Xenogod's coming out here. Even bigger for Ulrich. Eighteen, eighteen, haste and trample, beater. So this is none of our business. We're not going to get involved in here. Eighteen, eighteen, plus the one one at us, cheeky little fellow, isn't he? Yorva is going into block. That's not going to stop the. Two damage though, so you have to think that Yori is going to be able. To... Yep, here it comes. She's going to suspend what? What super beefy thing? Kozlek. Of course it's Kozlek. Of course. And obliterate. All right, buddy, you're definitely number one here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Come on, come on, let me cast my thing. You may play creature cards as though they had flash. Never mind. Never mind, I am a derp face. Oh, that's me casting my creature spells. It's not going to flash in retribution. They make that be way too good. So we've got three turns to live. Shuffles his or her hand into their graveyard and then draws seven cards. Ah, if only we'd gotten the scroll rack down, that would have been really good. But Joyra is at is down to nineteen, it looks like. So that's something. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and lands that can't be regenerated. Yep. Okay, so we've gotta do something about this. I'm out of creatures though, so I can't do anything about this. I could play Avacyn. But what's that actually going to accomplish? Not a lot, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and. Salt Monolith. Orm's Prayer. I forgot that we kind of want. To transform just to help him out a little bit, just a wee bit. Ah, what the hell? We'll enchant the wolf because we are going to go ahead and tap out for this. Yep. So we have the atypical Yora player playing Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, and Obliterate. Yeah, we kind of got we got just a teeny bit messed up by that, just a bit. So there's a birthing pod. Do you want to sacrifice your wolf though? I don't think you want to sacrifice your wolf.
He's going to sacrifice the psalm, right? Yeah. Oh, no, he did it. Aw. I want to get much life, though. No, we couldn't have seen the birthing pod coming. Go to a bandit warlord. So he's going to come into play. He's going to grab an equipment. What's he going to grab? Um, let's see. He has enough mana to equip, like, what? Locks not Warhammer, or... Maybe Argentum Armor? He has enough to equip Argentum Armor. No, Sword of Light and Shadow. Feast of Famine also would have been acceptable. And there's three mana... Three blue open. But Joyra's not doing anything right now. See, it's always possible she didn't see the counter spell she wanted. Always a possibility. So there's a Sylvan library. And Joyra just scoops. Wow, she was just super dead, I guess. Okay, then. So, with no Yorira, it's left to me to take all the beatings. It's hardly fair. And I guess that just means I lose because Goto's going to restand. Okay, kind of a poor sport. I guess just scooping like that. Making me take that huge amount of beam for no reason at all. And let's see what do we take for Oh wait, he untests old samurai, he's not a samurai, okay. So we're okay for now. Let's see, you may cast creature cards, so we'll use whiny cans to help get Avison out. Um and we have Righteous Aura. Righteous Aura is gonna stop anything that tries to hit us. I do want a Wrath of God though. Cause he has five cards in hand. It's gonna be one, two, one. See, with seven lands, that's gonna be five. It's gonna get Avison out. We can do it with the Basalt Monolith. Um. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Because Xenogod is going to go ahead and make just anything hasty. Also, we have like 10 life left? That's not good. Now let's just go ahead and Wrath of God here. Four. So, Narset scoops, Yoira scoops, because they can't handle the beats, but Yoira scoops in a way that makes sure that I just kind of get unjustly punched. Because she for sure was going to get punched, and she was going to lose off of that. I should have taken 20 points of damage just like that. Oh, that's the nature of the beast, though. So, let's see. Uh, four mana, so we can go ahead and play the Sunweb at the end of Xenogod's turn. Plus, with no creatures out, that's going to hurt the birthing pod. Although, 42 life is going to be a lot for us to overcome. We we're going to need Avacyn for this, for sure. Orem's Prayer with the Righteous Oro is going to help mitigate the cost, though. Or, that could happen. So, we're going to go ahead and use this now. All right, so we'll go ahead and cast our sun web, and that just got a that whole breach just got a huge amount of value off of us. And because we're playing a griffin, it's going to make us choose whatever order, order we put. That hurt a lot. Or got back. What? How'd that happen? Must have been the time twister. Uh, 
yeah, we just got completely. F I'm not even going to sugarcoat. We got fucked over by that Joyra player. We got. There's just no two ways about it. We'll say GG's for the sportsmanship, but Jesus Christ, we got fucked over by bad sportsmanship. Oh well, what are you gonna do about it? All right, we'll see. You in, we'll see you in game number two.